all right how's it going guys and we are back with more quantum break yeah guys the last video the environment started stuttering was a bit weird then we had to fight these mad new enemies that was they had the same problems as i did because paul saw the end of time and kind of prepared for it so we had to fight them which was solid and then he showed you basically the backstory of will and how he get this how this all kind of started and then paul got away so we had to, we had to meet up with beth it was just so it was a big episode it was just fucking Bad shit insane, but anyway guys, we're back with more Quantum Break, I think we're about to start Act 2, Part 3, but anyway guys, let's do it. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. I like this. I really do. I think this is a good concept to the game. Fucking hell, he's surrounded. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or, I could let Hatch deal with him, so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. It wasn't working there for a sec, that's why I was kind of going back and forth. What the fuck was happening? How to show business. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me... But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Serene chooses to focus his relationship with Jack and let Monarch fend for itself for a while. Serene chooses to focus on leading the Monarch rather than waste his time with Jack. This is a tough one! Cause it can be kind of personal, but he's worked hard for the monarch. Ooh. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I kind of want to go personal, cause I kind of want to find out more about uh, Paul when Jack's passed. And plus, business. We know monarch are bad people. Yeah, let's kind of go personal. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. I've 
seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, uh, uh, uh. stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Appreciate it. Sure. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. I don't know. That was fucking awesome. Damn. That will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning Ooh. to control them better. That felt good. I'll keep this going. Who the hell designs these doors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to move faster to get through. That is fucking awesome, but... Is that Beth? Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Oh, shit! I didn't know you could see that! I guess I'm definitely getting used to this new pillows. Oh, shit! Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Oh, cool! We get the gun. That's sick. <laughs> Whoa. 
I need to get across somehow. How the hell are we going to get across? You can't run mid air, can we? Must be way across. Ah, there we go. Course. Just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident, or pin it on Joyce. I heard voices. Yeah, he might as well take the blame for the mess he made. HQ, we have cut. Thank God. I was too busy reading the tap. Next one I get spotted. Time voices. felt broken here. So I did that, just pause the video. I don't know why the guys we see like felt unstuck in time. See like the graphics and the kind of like feel of the game? I don't know why, but it kinda of reminds me Twin Mirror. I put that on my channel a couple months back, it was really it was really a good game. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I grab the story. Met with Joyce and Laka. Yeah, I heard he took a personal interest. Somebody said it's because they thought he got powers. I guess you got a call. But I heard it was something personal too. What is the deal with Serene anyway? I mean, I. <laughs> Oh fuck me, he was one of Look at this, but I knew it was going to be solid. See movement. Move round. Ooh, shit. I see movement up above there. I can't even see where that's coming from. There we go. 
Ooh. Jack, I've disabled security and unlocked the gates leading to the tower. Let me know when you get there. Thanks, Beth. She has helped us a lot by buying a water and gave us. I need to get to the radar tower. I'll keep the. Okay. Next stop, the radar tower. Oh, you have to. Great, another one. Alright. Oh, it's pretty easy. If I did, I gave me all my ammo. Can I just walk in the front door? Maybe we can. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain layer? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Hello, Riverport. This is Teresa. Oh, fuck. Happy to spend this fine evening with you good folks. We're gonna have a good time, but if you're keeping an eye on the in crowd, you know we're not gonna be the only ones. So very exciting, very exciting. And this game is cool. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. Holy shit, it's gonna hit the fan, didn't the monarch? We it was a bad thing, we... But let's get the personal. Speech is streaming. Let's give monarch the audience we're entering a new phase in our operation. One that presents new risks and new demands. One that requires this. The Cronon Field Regulator, or CFR. Now, many of you know that this device has been the source of our Cronon research since 2010. But what only a select few of you know is that this device is Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah, I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart to heart with me to make it. Nice big elevator. Jack, security network. Oh, they know you're going to No shit. Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit! Spore the arm the facility. That doesn't look right. 
think that was the way you go. Oh, yes. Didn't work that way. What the hell is this? Uh, what is that? It's like I'm drained. I strain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. Okay, guys, why did I just pause the video? Oh shit, I clicked the right button. There we go. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believe the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Oh fuck! I'm running. What was it all for? Doctor Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. We got the end of the game. I think the thing behind it is the weakness. Because it looks like a big bullseye. This guy's a killer for that was it there. Man, the fact that I get that speed back so quickly is, is fantastic. There we go. It's not that bad once you know what to do. Employee route. 
Did I just do the wrong thing? I think I may have. Oh, did he? Oh, good. Clear to shot the dark office must be close. Oh my god! No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. <laughs> nice job, Beth. That's Amaral's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. Maybe guys, why did Dutch pause the video? That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit! Emeralds at the park. This better won't last. We did all that. Way out of here and get to the party. But fuck all. Oh. Damn you, game. Again, guys, why did that pause the video? Well, I stuff to like look up and read it now. To the party. Yeah, I'm at, just imagine they can actually see what I'm doing, but they can't actually do anything about it. That'd be quite terrifying. Do you not use the radar to what entrance smoking area? Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. <laughs> Just bow me, badass. You walk through it? Seems like a damn maze, man. You have to go through, you have to go through here. I thought it was a door. Part 2, Monarch Gala. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just happy we upstairs did yeah. I'm just happy we did a blaster way out, because this would have taken forever. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place. Easy, easy money. Entrance lobby, parking garage, and cargo station. Wait guys, I kinda wanna go back down and have research because I don't miss anything. You know I probably missed a lot of things. Oh dude. Come on, you're at work. Staying together, join the tension. Singles dating website. Religious. Just think, imagine they could see you and you're just sitting in a meeting and all you could do is just look at it and Jack just move about. That's fucking funny. It's basically just Paul Serene talking to his team, basically. And we know where we have to go. Fucking creepy just watching people just sit there. Like, oh, I could have this. But you know what, guys? Since it's starting the new act, I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we will continue. But yeah, guys, smash that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn notifications so you don't miss any of my videos if you want to see more Quantum Break. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See ya!